Family and friends are mourning Eleanor Mondale this morning, the daughter of former presidential candidate Walter Mondale. Uh, Eleanor was also a contributor to CBS This Morning, starting in 1996. Mondale interviewed some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Eleanor Mondale Poling, the vivacious daughter of former Vice President Walter Mondale and wife of nationally recognized musician Chan Poling. As a television and radio personality, Eleanor appeared on several national programs and most recently was co-host of WCCO's Mondale and Jones. Oh, those are great. That's a nice picture. Oh, that remember. Yeah, there's some though. work ones. And the fair in 2006, September or August is when we started working together. And we were thrown into the fire <laughs> immediately. Here we are at the fair. Oh no, this is one, she was very, very proud of this. She with did an interview Lama. with Dalai Lama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was extremely important to her. Eleanor was diagnosed with brain cancer in June 2005. She died in September 2011 at the age of 51. Her willingness to share so publicly her personal cancer experience inspired not only the state of Minnesota, but the entire country. Random people would come and say, you know, I'm praying for you, I'm wishing for you, and that sense of humanity. Her radio, her TV, her family history, she touched a lot of people and she really uh, for, for many people suffering with cancer, and especially with brain cancer, she became an icon for people that wanted to understood that this is a disease that, even if it's fatal, it's a disease that you live through. You don't die through it. She was able to get the message out that you can do this gracefully. You can get help, and you can find peace, even in a desperate situation. We're okay. picking photos that represent sort of a yep. cross-section of her life and her work and her dad yep. and her animals. Her family, yep. Yeah. Today, she's remembered at Angel Foundation with a room dedication in our offices, where friends and co-workers have made her indelible spirit a fixture in the Angel Foundation home. That is great, E. Happiness, family. Alright, okay, so, so what, what you want to see them in? like here, right? Mm -hmm. Center. So. Eventually that's where I think. She is such an inspiration in her public life. It's just great that people are interested in her story and can be uh, inspired by it. Because that's what she wanted. All the time she just wanted people to make things better for those who were falling on tough times. She just wanted to help people. I think even the most well-supported people who are going through something like this are going to have times when they feel alone. And that's when uh, foundations like uh, the Angel Foundation are kind of like a beacon to say, society sees you and we're here to help you. <laughs>